Hello guys and welcome to this highly requested video. And by highly requested, I mean one person requested it. That's enough for me though. So today I am going to be doing my updated hair care routine. Now let me show you my hair. Can you see it? Now right now it is straightened. Um, and as you can see, there is this bleached underside and black dyed at the top. <laughs> um, but I wanted to film this while my hair is still long because I am cutting it. <laughs> so I wanted to go through my hair care with you because somebody requested it. Let me reply to my mother. Okay. So I'm not going to say that my hair is the most healthy, but I mean, part of the reason I'm cutting it is because I want to undo i want to get rid of the bleached part but honestly of course right before i'm about to cut it i've noticed that it's feeling a lot healthier so maybe this can help you and i do want to say my hair does um just grow fast so do my nails i am really unhealthy <clears throat> so it's straight up my genetics okay there's nothing I can tell you to make your hair grow faster. I did used to have a um, pixie cut. You can see my evolution of my hair if you want. But anyway, let's just get into the freaking discussion. Also, this is, I do have a lot of gray hairs and this is the natural color. It's not black, but it kind of looks like it right now. Let's just discuss. Okay, I don't wash it daily. My hair doesn't get oily instantly. It gets oily after like, four days maybe so i just wash my hair when it feels oily i don't have like a schedule um i just wash it when it feels oily now when i'm in the shower uh because i do shower daily okay i wash my body and my booty daily <laughs> um i put it up and to put it up i use little clips let me show you um now I use clips like this. I believe they're like the Goody brand and I think I just got them from Walmart. I'm using a light one to show you, um, but it was in a pack of light, brown, and black. Now, I will also do this, someone is calling me. I will also do this when I am sleeping to keep my hair um, just off of me and um, it also kind of helps protect it. And the reason I use clips is because it's way less damage than hair ties and also because hair ties freaking hurt me um and it's like you can't shake your head around when you have hair tie at least for me because it just kind of wobbles around so that's why i do this now i'll show you what i do typically i'll brush it out first but i'm not doing that right now i will get it to the high point on my head twist and if i'm trying to make it look good i'll fix all this but if i'm just doing it for a shower or sleep I don't try that much, though I will brush it better before sleeping. Now with the little tail after you've wrapped it around, that's what I clip first. And I insert the clip to this part of the hair and then into the bun. And I will put four of those around and it just secures my hair up and out of the way so I can wash my body. So that's what I do on my non hair wash days. But now let's discuss the hair wash days. So I was using the all soft shampoo and conditioner but now I just use the conditioner and for shampoo I'm just using a drug drugstore one. Honestly I think this is kind of expensive but I've been using the Pantene Miracle Moisture Boost rose one because I, this wasn't the one that I wanted to use but this is what I got. It smells really good and for me what matters most is the smell of shampoo because you really just want to wash the oil out of your scalp. You're not using this along the whole length of your hair. You're just targeting your scalp with this. So I wanted it to smell good and break up the oil. This also says soothing hydration for thirsty hair tames frizz. I feel like that could be true. I feel like I've been getting less frizzies, but it could be because I've gotten better at um, drying it. And I will show you that in a minute. This is the shampoo I've been using. Honestly, any shampoo that will break up the oil. And it smells good too. If you wanna use a super high-end one, you can, but I don't think you need to spend that much for the shampoo part. Now for the conditioning part, I do still use the Redken All Soft. Sorry, there's a hair on this. So that's really attractive. Oh, there's two. I also do lose a lot of hair because I have a lot of hair. Um, it doesn't look like I have that much right now because it's straightened. Did I say that I was straightened? My hair is straightened, but I have a lot, so I lose a lot. So yeah, this is the conditioner all soft. 
and I just put that on my mids to ends, mainly ends. Um, but before I put this on, I wring out the water of my hair. Like I wring the water out of my hair um, in order to make this sit better. Um, and I leave this while I wash my body, shave my legs, do whatever else I got to do. I will also occasionally do a mask. Sometimes I do it before on dry hair, which you're not really supposed to do, or sometimes I'll do it instead of the conditioner, um, and I'll even put it on my ends before doing my shampoo, just so it's on there a little bit longer. After my hair is wet, and then I wring it out, and then I put it on. Now, what masks do I use? <laughs> using this one um the redken acidic bonding concentrate um and i used the olaplex one honestly any of them probably do help um this one is like you know higher end or whatever um and it's supposed to be like more intense it's intense conditioning and fortifying optimized for colored hair so if you have never colored your hair you might probably don't need one that's that intense or whatever um i would just look up like what works for undyed hair okay when i get out of the shower i brush my hair i know people say not to brush it wet but if i don't do that if i don't brush it wet it will never become untangled so i like to use this leave-in conditioner once i've brushed it out a bit it's the color fanatic purology 21 essential benefits. This one I've seen people talk about a lot. It's nice and soft and smooth. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I've noticed the world changing, but I'm gonna continue to use this. I'm gonna continue to do everything after I've cut my hair, just so you know. Uh, um, I'm sorry if you're new here and you're confused why I'm like the way I am. And then I also have been, I probably use too many products in my hair, but I've also, I found this at Marshalls, but I, knew I liked this brand. I think this is a Korean brand. Yes, it is. I, I just had to turn it to the back and see the Korean. Um, I've just been spraying this also on my hair. It has a really nice wide spray, which I really like. And um, it's got collagen, so I think it helps. And it said to, um, the, instru the English instructions were on the box. But it said to apply it more where it's most damaged so i've been like really focusing it on the bleached parts of my hair um so yeah and by the way i just do those sprays on the ends mid ends i'm not putting any up here what i will put up here is occasionally like while it's still wet this rice water um shine mist just to make it extra shiny it says for daily use but it's really sticky so i don't love to i don't love the feeling of it on my hands so i don't really do that and also i'm worried about it, um making it look gross now also on the ends while it's still wet or sometimes while it's dry i will use the ant honey oil i got this at a local well it's not local anymore because i moved but i got this at a japanese store that is in ohio um but you can get it on Amazon and stuff. I think it might honestly be even cheaper on Amazon. It is pretty expensive, but it's lasted me for a few years at this point. I am finally at the freaking bottom. Um, but there's also oils like the OGX oil. This one is really heavy. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one. They recently made lighter weight ones, so I would start with those. Um, and again, just put it on your hands and rub your hands together for a decent amount of time. I'll show you. So I'm just gonna try, because my hair is dry, sorry about the bird peeping. Because my hair is dry, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit. I might do a little bit more while it's wet, but you really wanna rub and warm it up before putting it, I could've honestly put more. I could've had more. And then I'll just rub it. And if I feel like it got between my fingers, I'll also come with my fingers but that's what I'll do, wet or dry. And then I typically, I typically <laughs> um, air dry and I will use one of these like microfiber head wraps and I will take my hair after i've parted it i will really like lay flat my part because i like i like it to be smooth if you want volume you're gonna have to figure that out but then i will take it and twist it put it 
up. This is not how you're supposed to do this. And then I will put this in, twist the front and put it in here. You're supposed to just twist your hair up in that, but that's how I get the part to lay smooth. If I am going to blow dry, which I typically don't because it takes a million years, I will use a blow out jelly, which is heat protecting and it's supposed to help lay it. This is the Redken one. I think if I blow dry my hair, it doesn't matter what I use, it will frizz up. So even if I'm like blowing it, like it will frizz up. So that's unfortunate. I just got this the other day, <laughs> but if I am straightening, the reason I got this is because I'm going to be straightening with my short hair a lot. Um, but I want to use a spray heat protectant. This is Repair Punish Heat Protectant from Infusium. I don't know. It's nice, again, like the other one, it has that big, nice fan out spray, which I like. And so I feel like it covers a lot and stuff, but without like being too heavy, it's like a nice, really fine mist that covers a lot of area. So, and I liked it. I think it did its job. I guess I don't technically know because I am not looking under a microscope. <laughs> oh, and also I use a wet brush. I'm not gonna show you because I, like I said, I lose a lot of hair. And occasionally for styling, I will like to use these roll-up curlers. And they clip like this. Um, but also they came with like a satin scarf thing. So I'll tie my hair up in that. Um, occasionally, even when I just do the bun to slip in, I will use that. And I have a satin pillowcase. I can't say that I think it's changed the world because I don't know if it has, but it is something I have been doing. So yeah, that is my updated hair care routine. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped you. I hope this gave you some ideas. And yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you decide to stick around. Um, and I love you, miss you. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.